Okay, welcome to this short video showing how you can set up the um, Pegasus R6 Thunderbolt RAID using the um, uh, Promise utility that comes with it from Promise Technology Inc. This is the uh, main screen that you get when you start up. Um, they call it the dashboard, I believe. Okay, um, let's take a little look around. Over here we have temperature, so we can click on there and um, see various aspects of what's going on inside the uh, enclosure, the temperature. Um, other settings here are voltage, and if we go back to the main dashboard, there's a fan setting, and there's a power supply unit setting, and there's also a controller setting back to the main dashboard here. Okay, um, there seems to be quite a lot of um, replication or duplication of uh, information in those settings. Um, over, over here is the um, event information. This is like a log of what's been going on and it's all time stamped. So you can see what I've been doing uh, recently. And this is um, the overview. Um, this is a representation of the system over here you can see there are six physical drives in the system. They are each one terabyte and um, there are six in there because it's a Pegasus R6. Um, the total system here is unconfigured, it's blank. That's not how it ships, I just blanked it so I could show you how to set some things up. It ships as a RAID 5 by the way. Um, and the system here is entirely green which means unconfigured. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is set up a spare drive. So I click over here on the left on spare drive. Click up here, create spare drive. Um, and then it gives me a nice pretty picture of the front of the enclosure and I can choose any disk that I would like um, to use as my spare drive. Um, I've plumped for the bottom one, there we are. Um, that's physical disk number six as it's referred to here. I click submit and I click finish and I now have one terabyte of spare drive. Let's go back to the dashboard. You can see over here on the pie chart the blue it, um, corresponds to my one terabyte drive which is one sixth of the total which is now configured and the remaining five drives are unconfigured and unusable at the moment. So what I want to do there is put a, um, a disk array um, onto those five drives or make those five drives into a disk array. So we'll click over here on disk array, create disk array, and again I choose which drives I would like to put into my disk array. So I'm going to choose one, two, three, four, and five. And it shows me down here drives selected are one, two, three, four, and five. So I click submit and I click finish. And it shows me now I have a 5 terabyte disk array, and the ID of that is 0. Okay, we'll remember that and come back to that in a moment. Go back to the dashboard. Now you can see my system is fully configured with well, 1 terabyte of spare drive and a 5 terabyte disk array over the remaining 5 disks. Okay, the next thing I want to do is put a logical drive on that physical disk array. Um, a logical drive, when I create that, then I can set up the uh, RAID settings and it will be formatted and presented to Mac OS X as a normal drive that we can start making some use of. So the next thing to do is create a logical drive. Okay, it tells me there aren't any, which is good. Um, let's create one. And it's telling me, or asking me rather, where I would like to create the logical drive. Need to create it on a physical drive on the disk array, um, and I have a five terabyte disk array that I just set up in the previous step, and its ID is disk array zero. Okay, so obviously we want to create a logical drive on the disk array we just created. So I can click next. Okay, now I can um, set the RAID level. Uh, 
having five drives, I'm allowed to use RAID 0, RAID 1E, RAID 5, or RAID 6. Um, the options are available depend uh, uh, on how many drives there are in your array. Some need even numbers of disks, for example. So I've chosen RAID 5. The next thing down is the capacity. It shows me there's four terabytes of usable capacity. That's because it's a RAID 5. Basically, one of the disks is being used for parity and the other four are used for data. So as there were five disks in there and it's a RAID 5, um, I'm going to get four terabytes of usable capacity. Um, you can set the stripe sector size, read policy, and the write policy here. Um, I don't choose to uh, make them any different from the default, so I'm just going to go with a single RAID 5. So I click Add, it comes up over here, and I click Submit. At this point, all the lights on the first five drives on the unit start flashing. tells me the logical drive was created successfully. It also tells me here it's now synchronizing, which is why the lights are flashing on the first five drives. Let's go back to the dashboard. Um, let's look here at background activities. This tells me what's going on, and basically down the bottom here it says synchronization, and it tells me logical drive zero, progress statement status, well there hasn't been much, and over here it says 0% running. Um, that means the system is just about starting to get around to formatting up my um, RAID volume. Okay, let's go back to the dashboard. The, um, the good news is that you don't have to do anything else now. The system will sit there and synchronize itself and put a file system on itself and when it's finished um, it will all be presented and it will pop up in your um, disk utility uh, on the Mac and it will be mounted and away you go. Um, the bad news is that this step with six drives of one terabyte each takes 24 hours on my system. Um, so I don't think they'll sit and watch it. I think they'll draw this video to a close and I'll be back soon with some information on performance.